Today, I have something exciting for you. I'm gonna be checking out all of the Music Nomad care products. <laughs> The people at American Musical Supply asked me if I would be interested in doing a video using all of these uh, products. But more importantly, everything you see me use in this video, they're going to be giving away as a kit, just like the kit they sent me to one of the viewers. There'll be a link down below so you can uh, participate in that giveaway. What we're going to do is restring the guitar. I'm going to start with this Music Nomad toolkit. Uh, this is their new toolkit. This just came out and you're going to notice something. They put my favorite wrench right here, which I love, but they improved it. They added this like rubberized felt feeling materials, very soft. So I feel, remember, this is my personal John Mayer Strat. Uh, there you go. Uh, they've improved it. They did two things that I like. They made it thinner, so it's easier to get underneath the knobs like that. But also, they made it so that it won't uh, damage the the, uh, the finish on the guitar. Now, the other ones I feel pretty confident about with, but this one I feel even more. But then they put a little spot for it in this toolkit. Man, this is this is pretty cool. Now, what's great about this is it has every tool you're gonna need. If you want to tighten the uh, socket on a guitar, it has this piece right here, so you can do that. It has uh, if you want to tighten your tuning keys, it has spots for that. But more importantly, there's a spot right here. We're gonna need a flathead screwdriver just to go ahead and lock the, the strings for the John Mayer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lock them. So let's go ahead and remove the strings. Ta-da, nice and clean. My favorite thing to do with the strings once I'm done is just go ahead and wrap them. Look at that. There you go. Nice and neat. All the strings removed. So what are we going to use next? Well, first we're going to get out the microfiber suede polished cloth. What's nice is you can put this back in there and seal it. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. And like I said, this is the microfiber suede. The first thing we do is hydrate the fretboard. They use what's called F1 oil. This, uh, it cleans, conditions, protects. I'm going to read a little stuff. It's going to see, seem a little, you know, <laughs> product-y. But uh, it's 100% natural oils, no petroleum, and no wax added. And that's the important part. They're trying to be friendly to the, uh, to the earth. So the earth will be friendly back to us. So what's important about that? Well, we're guitar players, which means we play dead trees. So anything we can do to help the planet is probably a good idea since we start off by not helping the planet. <laughs> so all you gotta do in this is shake it up first. It says shake it up. Now, there's a couple ways to apply this. You can apply this straight onto the fretboard. Sometimes just a, da a dab on each fret, sometimes in a like a S pattern. I don't do either of those. I've always uh, kind of done it this way. What I like to do is pick on this uh, cloth. I usually pick a spot, a corner, if you will. I like to have it right about there. And then what I would do is the, do a, like a little, little S, little S maybe, right? figure eight, and then I wiped the oil on. And this is just a habit I got into, which is I always apply polishes and oils to cloths and not to the instruments themselves. You'll find that you'll use a lot less if you do it this way. I find when I'm demonstrating <laughs> putting finish our oils on a fretboard, I always find I do it nice. And when I do it without anybody watching, it's just very, just, just there, <laughs> just do it, who cares? I'm not using nearly as much as you probably think I am. Um, this fretboard was pretty dry. I live in the desert, it's gonna be dry. And again, if there's a little bit left over on the top, that's fine. The wood will take what it wants. It won't take any more than that. You can be fine with that. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Well, now we're gonna polish the guitar. So we're gonna use the guitar polish. Now what's interesting about this is it's silicone and wax free. The silicone free is very, very important because you don't wanna add silicone to a finish if you can help it. And one of the things it does is it, uh, not only does it not let fingerprints get on it, but it also repels dust. That's what's great about silicone. What's not great about silicone is that once it's kind of been uh, exposed to a finish, it's very hard to get off. And that's really a problem if you uh, have your guitar refinished. Although there's ways around that, but again, I think it's best if you can find uh, polishes and, uh, and uh, uh, polishes and cleaners without silicone to go ahead and use those. What are you gonna use on this? Well, we're gonna use the other microfiber cloth. 
And again, this is a microfiber towel. And this one also comes in a sealable pouch. And the same thing as before, I'm gonna use the corner. Now this one again, same thing, you're just gonna shake it up. And this is important for a couple reasons. One, it's gonna protect the, the finish on the guitar. And it'll even protect it from UV, uh, that's right, sunlight. So go ahead and remove this safety. Ooh, it's making a mess. What's great is I'm just gonna go ahead and put that mess on there. It smells good too. All right. Now, what's cool about this polish? Let me show you. I kind of feel like the sham wow guy. Okay, uh, it's just like any kind of polish. You're just gonna polish it on, but notice I'm gonna put it on the metal. That's right. I'm actually gonna put it on the pick guard. There's no abrasives, so you don't have to worry about it scratching uh, the finish or plastic. Let's go ahead and have fun with that. <laughs> and then the reason, like I said, use the corner, I use the opposite corner over here, like this, to go ahead and remove it. What I like to do is put the conditioner on the fretboard, then polish the guitar. Then when I'm done with the polish, I know it's time to remove whatever excess. Look at that. That's what's crazy. <laughs> How shiny that is. Now that's done. Perfect time to take the clean corner of this one right here and go ahead and take off any of the excess. Now their, uh, their uh, fretboard conditioner does not have any lemon oil in it or lemon scent. Uh, so a lot of the uh, lemon oils will use, uh, well, they'll use a little bit of lemon oil, sometimes for scent. Sometimes they use a little bit of it to, as a drying agent, believe it or not. They'll use, a lot of fretboard conditioners will use something to dry it because otherwise it'll always stay greasy and they don't want it to be greasy. So what happens is it actually can dry out the fretboard a little bit too and this won't do that, which is great. Now, this is the reason why we want to use this, uh, keep the uh, control of where the cloth has the, the, uh, the oil is because now we're gonna use guitar polish. Now, we don't have to use guitar polish. This is guitar one, and again, you can use it for everything. Um, no, you wouldn't spray it all over the guitar again because you just used the, uh, the guitar polish. Um, but this is what you would use for all, like an every time cleaner. This is what you would use uh, if you're every, every time you're kind of done playing the guitar and stuff. I'm actually gonna use this too. So, and same thing, mist it on, just again, to get it damped. This is what I'm gonna use for the neck. And why? Um, because in case I got any of that polish on there, but also because I want the neck to be nice and shiny. Wipe this down. The question would be, do you have to have both these? If I was gonna pick one, I would pick the guitar, the one, is it code? Yeah, the guitar one, uh, because this is more of a every time use kind of thing. This will keep your guitar shiny and nice. This is definitely something cool if you wanna to use to polish up metal. You can use this to polish your frets. Uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, my frets are actually shiny and don't need any polish, but you can use that to, to polish your frets. So there's the cleaning portion. So. The other thing is, what's nice about this is it's nice to have two separate uh, towels. One for the oil and uh, the cleaner and one for the polish. So it's nice to have them separated. And what's nice is you can put them back in the pouches, but first I'd let them dry out. We have the Nomad tool, which is this tool right here. And one of the things I like about this little brush, and you can use it to brush off and get out all the dust from the headstock area and the bridge. This little tool can get into these spots uh, that you can't you know, normally get into, but more importantly, this will also help you uh, get underneath your strings. If you wanna use it to clean your strings, clean the top of your strings, um, get into spots in between your pickups, but uh, it's a dual sided. Now, something also cool, if you notice I'm using the New Music Nomad uh, headrest, Obviously this is to keep the headstock up. If you have a tilted back headstock like a Les Paul or this PRS, if you have a Strat and maybe you have a lower clearance, you can put it down a little lower, especially if you're gonna put a lot of force down on it, it spreads out the, the area. What's also nice is when you're not using it, you sit here like so and it becomes your tool holder and uh, it fits all the Music Nomad tools or any pencils or tools that you want, um, you can put there. That's pretty cool. They really thought everything uh, when they thought of this. There's a reason why I think almost every video I see somebody's using this thing. Uh, I have to admit, I think it's my favorite neck cradle. Actually, let's put it down to official. It's officially my favorite neck cradle. Same with their pad. Now, 
what are we gonna do next? Well, now we're gonna put the strings on. So let's go ahead and use the strings. I'm using my String Joy strings because those are the strings I use. Ta -da, they come in a pizza box. If, uh, if you have little kids, or you are a little kid, you can have a little pizza box for your Barbies. Throw these things. And you get a little note. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put the strings on. My strings for my John Mayer. I'm sure you guys are all like, what does he use? I use 10 to 48. Um, yep, that's right. Not even 10 to 46, 10 to 48. Go ahead and we're just gonna run the string through. That's how easy this is. I just pull it tight, lock and key. Some people put one wrap around it, I don't. What's nice is, like I said before, we're gonna go ahead, use this tool. We can use this to lock the string down. Bend it up, okay. What's great is I have somebody comes and picks up all this mess when I'm done. Uh, and actually I'm just full of it. <laughs> I am the film crew, the talent, the editor, the janitor, the guitar tech. Now, if you feel confident, <laughs> if you believe in yourself, if you feel that you are good enough at restringing guitar, that you feel you can do it without messing up, and then you can go ahead and cut these off now instead of waiting till later. If you're gonna cut them off now, we're gonna use the grip cutter, okay? And uh, it's got a little sheath on it for protection. What I love about this is one of the problems with uh, some of the, the, uh, the wire cutters that we use for string cutting, um, they don't they don't have, they don't close right. They don't have the right force. This has the right force, uh, especially if you're doing bass strings. What I mean in, by that is it's so effortless how I'm snapping these strings off. And that's not a huge deal, but it's nice. Another thing I really like is that all the Music Nomad stuff is the same color blue. So it's nice. It keeps all your tools kind of uniform. Or now, what do we have to do next? Well, now there's something called string fuel. This is an all-in-one string cleaner and lubricant. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do you need to clean your strings? Well, you're like, oh, the strings get dirty. I understand. Actually, no. You want to clean your strings, obviously, when they get dirty, but when you first put on strings. You guys are familiar with the idea when you play, all of a sudden you get those like black dirt lines right there on your fingers. That's from the strings. There's this, that's it. So you can understand, a lot of people think it comes from the fretboards of rosewood, but obviously, like I said, I'm nowhere near the fret rosewood. Clean finger right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And bam, there it is. So it's coming from the strings. So cleaning your strings is a big deal. So there's a couple things. One thing is they put a little suede microfiber cloth in the handle of this thing, which is great. And you can just use this. Just a couple passes. Again, I like a little goes a long way, right? So there you go. Uh, there you go, it just cleans that up. Now you can use this to wipe off the excess, uh, any of the, the uh, oil lubricant. Uh, but also remember you have this and you can only, you can do that. What's great is you can get the underneath of the strings just the same, look at that. There you go. You can see my guitar looks amazing. It smells like bubble gum. It smells so so crazy. It's like a brand. It's like a cross between a new car and bubble gum. It feels great. Feels great. Uh, these are all non-toxic. They fit. They will work on lacquer, nitrocellulose lacquer, or uh, polyurethane or acrylic finishes. But more importantly, I want to thank Music Nomad and American Musical Supply for sending this stuff out. They sent me this care package so I could use it and show it to you. And then, of course, give one of you guys, if you click the link down below to enter to win, this entire kit, the same thing. If you thought any of these things was cool, I, I really would appreciate it if you would support uh, American Musical Supply. I understand you guys have your personal preferences of where you like to shop. And I wouldn't want to dissuade you from any of them. I just want to point out that if you're a fan of this channel and you like what I was able to do today, I want you to let you know that that was, that was brought to us. That was, that was uh, possible because of American Musical Supply and Music Nomad working together. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for your time. Until the next time, know your gear.